Hi, my name is Sarah Earle from Bath Spa University and I've made this short video to explain the TAPS Pyramid Model. It's from the Teacher Assessment in Primary Science project which is funded by the Primary Science Teaching Trust and based at Bath Spa Institute for Education. The place that you get this is to be found on the Primary Science Teaching Trust website and pstt.org.uk. If you click on the Resources tab um, there's lots and lots of things on there. The assessment one is what we're looking at today and that will take you to this page which has all the TAPS um, information and resources so far. Obviously we'll have more and more as we create more things. Um, for the moment it's the pyramid that is what we're focusing on. So there's a black and white version if you'd like to do things on paper and then there's the interactive colourful version with lots of examples in it. So um, that's the one I definitely recommend downloading to have a nose at. Here, um, once you've downloaded it, you get this. This introductory page gives you some headlines which um, I'll talk through too and then there's the page with the interactive tool bits on. So the idea of this came from the Nuffield Foundation in 2012 where they suggested that the um, it, rich information, rich formative information collected by classroom teachers can be utilised um, to inform summative assessment rather than doing something different at the end of term. Um, the TAPS team have um, been talking to schools, the Primary Science Quality Mark, Primary Science Teaching Trust Fellows and a whole range of people and filling in what, the bo what that looks like in practice um, and that has led us to fill in lots and lots of boxes and have lots of examples. So there's two ways you can use this. You can either use this as a bank of examples to give you ideas or as um, a self-assessment um, framework so you can see how well um, different bits of your assessment are going so it may be that you've got really strong assessment in one one bit but not in the other and hopefully it should help you to identify priorities and also have that um, be able to have that discussion with anyone who wants to know what your assessment processes are um, you'll be able to to, to um, use this as a framework for that discussion about what it is you're trying to develop so um, for example the bottom layer is all about pupils and what pupils are doing to be active in their learning. Um, in these bottom two layers it's f um, all the good assessment for learning um, information, the things that will make the difference in the classroom and this is where you might direct your classroom teachers. So there's lots of ideas for example um, how pupils can assess their own ideas and it will take you to examples and you can click on the next box and see some more things or previous page sorry there's plenty of stuff in here um, or it may be that you want to look on the teacher layer and find out about how to how to give feedback to people or maybe you want to look at the um, how to evidence all this kind of stuff do we need to write everything down is it more about the focus that kind of thing um, and different ways of doing it we're hoping to add some video clips into this at some point um, this is only the first stage so if you're interested in sharing things with us then please do email us um, at primary.science at bathspa.ac.uk anyway the bottom two layers are all about the um, classroom practice and then it goes up to well how how does this get summarized um, and how does this um, how do subject leaders support this to happen and there are boxes about how we to develop a shared understanding which is key um, to both reliability to ensure consistency but also to validity and uh, making sure that working scientifically is held within the pyramid um, you've got um, examples of different ways of moderating things um, there's a particularly nice one here um, where um, there's a whole school moderation so everyone's done some investigating and then bring their things along there's lots and lots of examples in here so the aim is that you'll be able to use the examples to support um, and identify things that you would like to develop in your school um, you can also if you want to you can traffic like these and um, sort of look for where your gaps are and where things you want to develop and if you put your name of your school and the date of your school then you can save it now this is just your personal copy this doesn't go anywhere it's just your your personal copy um, for you to use with it utilize within your school and if you want to make some notes at the same time there's a notes section at the end um, and you can get linked back to the different things that you were looking at okay I think that might be enough information for one video clip um, Thank you very much for listening and we hope you find it to be supportive.